days of notice. He weighed in at 170 pounds with a mixed martial arts record of three wins and two losses. Representing Team Independent, Paul Mann! And now the champion to my right. He has a perfect professional mixed martial arts record of three wins and no losses. He represents Team Vision. Rob, you've spent some time with Roger Bowling. Uh, what are his strengths? Uh, good stand-up, very, very strong, explosive, fast, very athletic, good ground game. He's pretty well-rounded for this stage of his career. Needs polishing, needs polishing on, on all of his little areas, but he's very good, he's explosive, he's very athletic, he's extremely strong, he's smart. Uh, tenacious, man, hard guy to deal with. You better be on your A game. When you get a guy on the ground, watch him. This is what you need to be doing with him. He's not wasting time. Roger's going in there with a lot of aggression, just dropping those right. fists. Paul, his Roger and butterfly guard, which up against a cage is definitely smart. And you can see Roger's working. He's working to break his arms free. He's got over, Paul has overhooks. He's pulling the head down. And Roger just keeps busy and keeps working. He's working on passing guard with his legs. Working on pulling his head out. Working on pulling his arms out. He's busy. Exactly, he needs to break the hands. Roger needs to break the hands loose and create some upper body separation here. If he pulled his leg up and threw it and could post it on, on, his, on Paul's stomach, it would help him do that. Be careful of the up kicks. Roger, one of the guys from uh, Team Vision that actually just passed uh, the first interview up in Chicago for the next season of The Ultimate Fighter. And he's going to Las Vegas for the second interview. I think he'll do very well. I think he'll do good on that show, very well. Roger seems very cool and calm. He seems very poised, he, even though when he's not... Uh not getting a lot of offensive going on. He's just waiting for the right move right now. Mm -hmm. And he's Pick waiting for Paul to make a mistake. Picking his shots, nice little knees to the face, the head. It shows a lot of Control maturity the for hip. a guy as young as he is, you said before, in his, in his fighting career. He's very smart. He's very smart. Roger took six or eight months completely off from fighting and worked on his technique, his stand-up technique, his ground technique, which is very smart. A lot of guys at this sport, the lower levels, they rush into being pro and want to get fights. and. They end up getting themselves a built-up record off of fighting guys who can't fight that well, and, and their skill levels down. Roger's got to be a little careful here. He's, gotta, he's in the guillotine, and I'll tell you what, he's hard to see where he, from this camera angle, but I think he's okay. Can't tell if his arm's through here. It doesn't look like he's got it. I don't think he's got that cinched in very well. Roger's getting, he's just raining those no, shots down. Now he's got him. And that's what we were talking about earlier, and then he tapped. And that's it, right Where there. Roger had a guillotine choke and jumped into full guard, which cinches his lower body, adds leverage to the guillotine. Beautiful work. Nice win for Roger Bowling. Handsome Roger Bowling. Thank <laughs> you. 